Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Hey loves, it's your girl Linda Mary and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, karibu sana, that means welcome in Swahili. So on this day, I was preparing porridge for breakfast. Afternoon on a track I only took it because it started to rain Afternoon in the fall This weather always makes me think about it all The woman across me, she's wearing a trench coat A bouquet of roses, I wonder what they're for My premiere is starting and there's nothing that gives me joy like seeing ads on my videos and I know that at least this time I'm getting something and you see here uh, people have already started coming in it's supposed to start now at 2 p.m. but already my friends are here before it even started like I love this so I'm engaging with them live I want to uh, respond to them as I wait for these ads to be over and then the countdown so guys if you're not joining please if you're not joining these premieres come in let's chat chat here so uh i'm saying hi to angie who is here again kokim kokim hi <laughs> i love engaging with you guys live live you see people are coming in see ah, kokim has sent me money 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 guys this is what i was talking telling you about if you want to support a creator during their premiere or live, you see this dollar sign. So, you know, see, show your support for Linda Mary. Thanks, girl. So, let me answer them. See, there are so many messages. Okay, I'm loving this. I love interacting with you guys. Live, live. Ah! Guys, I was watching Naomi Kiki's latest video. This one for the grocery haul. And then she mentioned the thanks. I think I'm just not used to the fact that there are some features i have now on my channel that i didn't have before i was monitored so leave me a very sweet comment alafu hapo chini kuna ka thanks hapo kwa huto to icons hapo ka like ka yeah. like and stuff so i just went here and saw the thanks this is where if you want to gift a creator you see so this means you can always thank a creator even if it's not just during premieres and i don't know how even this escaped my mind I'm just not used to this, the fact that I now have these things. So I had to go back to my channel. I went back to the video that I just uploaded and I checked. I was like, let me just check. And there, I have the thanks to Ash. I wanted to say thank you so, so much because some of you have already used this thanks feature and sent me money. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate you so much. Hey guys, so I want to leave. Hey, this morning, Taraji was going to school. Today was tracksuit day. So she leaves and then a few minutes afterwards, I hear her crying. No, she started crying from far away and I'm like, that's my daughter. That's Taraji's cry. So I come here to the bedroom window because I, I heard her coming like this. I come here to the bedroom window. I peep outside. I see her in mud and she was cry not crying, wailing. <laughs> my daughter is extra like me. So I'm like, What's wrong? Have you fallen down at you? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, just come in. Just come into the house. So she comes in. <laughs> I'm telling you, this girl, her tracksuit was just full of mud. Look at this. This is how she was looking. So she came back home. This was the trouser. Hey. So she came back home. She was not hurt. She didn't have any bruises, no bleeding. I asked her if she was feeling any pain. There's nothing. I think she just slid and fell in the mud. <laughs> well, but my daughter doesn't like dirty things or mud. I think in her entire life, I've seen her play with sand twice. Twice. Actually, once I saw her, once someone told me because we were visiting. Twice. 
she doesn't like anything that makes her dirty. I know you can imagine her sleeping in mud. She cried from where she fell to when she got into this house. <laughs> now you imagine I had to remove this, clean her, okay, and it's cold, so I had to warm some water, clean her, and then have her dress up again. Now not in the tracksuit, in normal uniform, because she has one tracksuit. Then she went back to school again. And they're starting exams today. I'm telling you this morning. So, eh. for my therapy session but i've been told that my counselor has stepped out for a while so i'm just waiting for him so i figured instead of just staying there at the reception area let me walk around okay so i'm just seated next to the peach they have a beautiful compound it's just that i fear filming because i don't know if it's allowed but you see it's so beautiful and then the church is over there that white place so but that's not where I have my session. I have my session in the church office because that's where my pastor has his office. But other people come to the church there and then they have counselors just sit down with them in various places. So for me, I get to sit in an office. <laughs> I've been taking photos. <laughs> You're joking with Linda. Every opportunity she has to take photos in a beautiful place she will. People should not ask me, Ati, oh, who took those photos? If I ever post photos alone, Ati, who took those photos? I'm a pro at taking photos and I only need one good photo. I just set the angle right, put myself right. I take two or three and out of those two or three, one is perfect. This is like one hour later. I've even relocated to another place. So I'm just going to check if my counselor is back. If not, then I'll just go home. And come back next week because eh, time is going. Let's just go and check. We just decided to postpone. They had a function going on, and mm -mm, today was not a good day. <laughs> As I was headed home, I saw these beautiful apartments, and they had indicated that they had vacant houses. So I decided to just get in and see because I am looking to move. Not right now, but I'm looking to move, and I admire this area, and I wanted to move in this area if possible. So the first uh, place was a one bedroom. There are no lights here. But this is the kitchen. I'm just using my phone like to wow. I love the tiles. Uh, this is the it's still under construction. Now look at how tiny this sink is surely. Eh? area wow okay bathroom is separate from the toilet mm. let me look at the, this is the bedroom oh my god it's so small it's small i can't imagine this is the bedroom all of it it's too small i can't but this is the window I love the wardrobes. I love the wardrobes. You guys have complained so many times about not having shelves. There are shelves here. Oh my goodness. Let me look at the wardrobe. I love it. Oh my goodness. I love it. See the storage there, the storage here, and the storage up there. But the bedroom is too small. Well, let me see if they have a balcony. Let's look for the balcony. Why did this house have to be that small? Hey, this, this balcony is small, German. Yes, you can wash here, but you can even a washing machine put here. It's small. So the person showing me around, I think he was the caretaker, decided to show me another house. But apparently that house was taken because that was in another area. So he decided to show me this bed. This bed is beautiful. Look at the walls. 
and it's 15,000. It is so beautiful. So even these, uh, we went to another room, but it was just still the same floor, which means they were all alike. So I didn't see the need of looking at it again. I just checked the drawers because I did not do that uh, in the house down below. But so we went to the rooftop and I've never done this apartment haunting houses. So I don't know if you're supposed to ask for permission from the caretaker, the owner of the house. I didn't do any of those things. So I didn't even get their contacts or film the outside part of the building. I was just showing you because I was walking by and I saw it. Yeah. So he was telling me how much one bedroom and two bedrooms cost in this area in general. Guys, these houses are beautiful, even the view. It's just that the bedroom is small and that Kasinkia Cho, but look at even the rooftop. Look. Eish. I'm leaving, but guys, imagine they even have solar. So if the lights go off, if Kenya Power does their thing, you have lights. And they have water 24-7. I've seen so many times. And they have parking. It's just that that bedroom is small and I don't want to... I don't know that bedroom is small, but these houses are beautiful and the houses in this area generally are beautiful. I've been walking while admiring them. Let me give you a glimpse of the parking. There's someone seated there, so I don't want that person to see me recording. But this is the parking, imagine. And that bed sitter is 15,000. So guys, I'm back. I've bought even stuff. I'm not going back out again. And I want to tell you about that house, but first. I met one of you at the market <laughs> when I was buying food so I can come. We just met at the market. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> I was shocked. I, I don't know. This is the second person to identify me out. So I don't know. It's a bit. I still have. I, I don't know. I still. I'm not used to the idea that someone can see me and they know me and they're like, yeah. That's Linda Mary, you know her, it's a little bit still weird to me. But she just came and said, Linda, and then she we hugged. So she whispered, I'm your fan. And I'm like, yes, you too. Okay, I was even just confused. I didn't know what to do, but uh, that was so nice. Thank you, Barbara, for saying hi. If you see me out here, just say hi. You can just say hi one minute and then, oh, both continue with whatever it is you are doing. But uh, that is nice. That is so nice. So, what are you saying? That house. So, that house, the sitting room. There were no lights because they had not fixed the bulbs. So, I was just using the light from my phone. It's like a goldish. You see, the bed sitter was bright. So, I showed you what was in the bed sitter is also what is in the other rooms. That kind of gold, gold. I don't know if it is a wallpaper or whatever or painting. It was so beautiful. The kitchen was so beautiful and not small. But where are the countertops again? Where are the countertops in this kitchen? <laughs> I cannot move from a house that has no countertops to a house that has no countertops. That doesn't make sense. That's not being smart. And then the bedroom. Why is the bedroom, bedroom that small? Like the bedroom is small. My bed is 5 by 6. If I just put my bed, there's nothing else I'm adding in that room. But again, the wardrobes are nice. Of course, you can't get everything you want in the house unless you build your own. But there are things that are, are, there are too much compliments. And then what about that sink at the end where people are supposed to you know, wash their face and brush their teeth? Why well, is it that small, surely? Am I supposed to put my head in a particular angle in that sink so it can fit? I just love, I just love the sitting room and the kitchen a bit, minus that countertop, whatever. And I love the entire the compound i love the building itself the colors i love the fact that they have water 24 7 i love the fact that they have solar so you can say oh they don't have electricity let me that is amazing why when this guy told me the rent <laughs> 20,000 for a one bedroom and i know there are estates among their places where yes you can get 20,000 for one bedroom even maybe these gated communities but uh, 20,000 for that one bedroom uh, i can't pay that if i'm still compromising on the space in the bedroom and so he was like, he was like the houses in that area range between 20 to 25k one bedroom unless you get the old houses which range between 15k to 18,000 
and then I was like, what about her to bedroom? Because my ideal situation would be to move from this house, not now, to move from here to a two bedroom. It doesn't make sense to move from one bedroom to another one bedroom. I've already stayed in this one bedroom for three years. So by the time I'm moving, I want to upgrade so Taraji can have her own bedroom. So she doesn't kick me every time she, we are sleeping. Her legs are on my head. Sleeping with a child. Sometimes I wake up at the edge of the bed. I'm about to fall. I'm like, Taraji, I'm going to fall out of this bed. And she's also here right with me. She's left all the space there. She's pushed me, pushed me, pushed me onto the earth. I can't even remember how it feels to sleep alone. I would want her to bedroom so she can have her own room. I can have my own. Imagine my own bedroom, my own space. And then, I, at least when I have visitors too, you know, there's extra space, you know. The thing is, I would want to live in that area. Because I've always been passing by, but I've never like gone inside the estate. So when I was going for the counseling session, I passed in one area. When I was coming back, I passed in another area. I'm telling you, the houses are beautiful. Those are the kind of houses I want. With the balconies like that, the modern finishing, they are beautiful. And not just one or two. Like, you, you can't fail to get something. But when this person mentioned the rent, do you know that if you're moving to an area, if the rent is high, it means that the schools are ex more expensive than where you are currently living. It means the food is more expensive, especially if you don't see a market market like this is the market. The cost of living is high generally. So you can't just think of the rent. You need to think of upgrading your entire life, knowing that you're going to spend more than you're spending now. When I first came here, I was living in a very special bed sitter somewhere there. I don't know why I didn't start my YouTube channel when I was in that bed sitter. It was nice. I loved that house. So, when I came here, when I moved to a new estate. I have to find specific people. Hmm? I have to find my Mutura guy. Where am I going to buy Mutura? What is Mutura in English? We call them African sausage. I want to have one or two places where I buy my Mutura always so i have to get someone for mutura someone for beef someone for matumbo and we'll be getting cereals and a few others so the first uh, so the first day was like let me just go i'll be testing mutura from here and then the next day from here and then the next day from here and then compare who has the best mutura in this estate mutura is a big deal in this house so day one i went to the first person i told him and katia mutura 10 bob give me mutura for 10 shillings because we were used to stay we used to have mutura for 10 shillings this guy tells me, we don't sell Mutura for 10 shillings here. And then everyone else bursts laughing. Maybe you know, when you're eating Mutura, it's like a crowd, people are crowded. Everyone else laughed. And then I was like, shit, where am I? Where have I moved to? People don't have Mutura for 10 bob. So I just asked, what's the minimum? <laughs> and it was like, from 20 bob, I was like, okay, just give me the 20 bob. Because I was embarrassed, I didn't want to walk away. I, I was embarrassed, I was like, let me just try to act strong and like i'm not embarrassed so let me just order instead of going away so i ate from there and then it hit me where things are like more expensive here even mutura <laughs> starts from 20 bob there's not a big difference from between here and where i was living but there's a difference so that's what i'm saying if you move to an area where you're upgrading the rent you're paying more don't just think of the rent you're upgrading your entire life even mutura will be expensive Flower, I got it for mom. Imagine she just came back. As I was just talking, she came back and she got me a flower. This girl has been getting me a flower every day for the past one week. She plucks them from I don't know where. Thank you, mom. This is so beautiful. You're welcome. I love flowers. <laughs> Did you start welcome. exams? Yes. Hmm. So how were they? How was it? Good. Nice. What they had? Hey, Ray, yeah. Ray, Ray, <laughs> Ma, That's a good thing, huh? Well, thanks for the flower. You're welcome. <laughs> Since I work on Apple and I'm a freelancer, I'm a top rated freelancer, I always get these invites. They are sent to top rated freelancers to meet and network within your area. So, this is for Apple freelancers in Nairobi. And every time I click on at I'll attend, I'm always told, oh, uh, registration is full even if I click on it a day later and the event is in two weeks time so I've never understood that for the first time I was told that oh RSVP confirmed an invite link has been sent to my email I'm going to the market to buy food but look look what happened to my baby's shoes <laughs> her new shoes and this is the other side 
you know when i bought these shoes i knew that i was supposed to like take them to the cobbler so he can put um what is it called uzi so you can just stitch it all around because they're normally just held by glue and glue is not strong and then now we're in november it's rainy water uh, rainy season so she's been walking to school and if she steps on the water the the gum comes out yesterday she came like this my baby wailed wailed she was wailing <gasps> mommy my shoes came out <laughs> imagine in a mezeka, but it's still a nice shoe so you see so i need to take them to the cobbler so you can just do this round i don't even know if this is possible today because it's it's 5 p.m and i need them today today because she's wearing them tomorrow for school but let's see sasa nyo kupata time baya nikona viatu wapa za mtoto zimetokana ni zile tu viatu vile zina baiwanga ziko tu na gum so nilikuwa nataka kama imeza pigwa pigwa uzi i only took it because it started to rain afternoon in the fall this weather always makes me think about it all the woman across me she's wearing a trench coat a bouquet of roses I wonder what they're for A candlelit dinner A date in the park A night at the theater Or a love in the dark I don't know where she's going I don't even know her name I don't know if her life has been a breeze or a hurricane I don't know Hey guys, so I want to prepare dinner yeah, I already got the shoes. Yeah. It is cold weather. Thank God it didn't rain yesterday, but it was very, very cold. So they are not dripping wet, but they're not as as dry as I'd like them to be. So I've just hung those uniforms there. Because tomorrow is cool. You have to improvise. So I want to prepare dinner. I want to prepare these traditional greens, Kenyeji. And if you are Kenyan, they have specific names because they are different types of greens. So I can't, I don't know how to translate them in English. But if you are Kenyan, I mixed kunde to two, 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 two. Kunde, terere, managu, and spinach. So I just want to boil them, nothing fancy. And I like boiling them with um, magadi, baking powder, baking soda. I think it's baking soda, magadi. Just a little bit to soften them and then make sure that they are ready while they still retain a bit of that green color. I'm just boiling them for a few minutes, less than 10 minutes because they are greens, you can't over boil them. Some that were remaining here. And then I, I mean I'm lazy. When it comes to cutting greens, the only greens that I can cut, I don't even green, a cabbage. Hey, but the rest, this green, green one, I prefer to just Pick them from the market, have someone cut them for me. So I'm just going to let it boil. Don't cover because it's going to boil so much that baking soda will make it have sort of bubbles. So if you cover, it will spill on the floor. The greens have boiled. I've, I just added some water, some cold water, so it, it stops uh, cooking. But I'm just going to sieve it. It looks like a lot, but it's not. When I squeeze it. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the water. I really hate this water as soup. Because if you don't, this is what you'll have as soup. I want to squeeze it out so the soup will be milk. You'll see. My hands are clean. Before you start cooking, I always wash my hands. Look at all this water. Look at all this water. So this is would have been the soup. It's too much for me. I just have to squeeze that. Do you remember guys when we were studying, is it home science in school? When they say that you should not cook using loose clothing, I love this sweater. I put it on every day because it's loose, it's so nice. But I've realized sometimes when I'm cooking like this, it is very easy for it to catch fire. Okay, I just remembered, hey, this is what they were teaching us. Let me just put it up. Side. 
these are the ingredients I'm using. Very simple. These two, and then one of this cube and milk. Have you ever looked in the mirror and not seen yourself? Like you got lost somewhere along the way? Well, maybe you just need some help getting back. But that's not something they tell you these days. If I'm preparing these traditional greens with beef, I don't normally use tomatoes, but I'm using tomatoes because I'm just uh, going to eat them as they are with ugali. I never wanted to be that girl But I'm stuck on this rural street And my smile won't come but my hair still curls And I guess that's how they recognize me I'm not actually here anymore I've forgotten what I came here for You at the bright There's no one around for miles They left me here in the dust They're actually all right next to me But it's like I'm a ghost I'm not actually here anymore I so My dinner is ready These are the greens I didn't let the milk evaporate that much but i'm telling you it's yummy i wanted the soup but if i was eating it with beef then i will not use tomatoes and then i will just have little soup but look at it look at our greens greens are just tasty ah there's something I was explaining to you guys, but I was so tired, so it wasn't even coming out clearly. A few days ago, Taraji is just said that she felt pain on one side of her neck in the evening like this. So she didn't have any headache, any stomach pain, any a fever or anything. So I thought maybe she had slept in a weird position. So I just tried to massage it. And then the next day, uh, she said she was feeling some kind of pain, a little pain, but she was still playing and jovial and everything, and she didn't have a fever. So I didn't know what to make of it. So I just gave her some painkiller and for that medicine for kids for painkiller and fever it's one medicine so in the evening that's when i noticed that her neck had started swelling a little bit not too much but it was swelling and i was like what i need to take her now to the hospital that was at night but now in the next morning they had exams and she couldn't miss exams but she was still okay talking laughing and everything so i say let her go to school when she comes back i'll take her to the hospital so we have a nurse in our family so when I spoke to my sister about her, she was just like, it's mumps. And that was the first thing that came to my mind originally because I had heard that there was a mumps outbreak. I'd, so I'd seen uh, mums in our WhatsApp groups complaining that kids are getting mumps. So when she told me that was just mumps and then uh, my relative advised me, she's my cousin, she just said that we can just buy her antibiotics and then a certain painkiller. So I was like, that is what I'm going to do when she comes back from school. But when she came back, <laughs> miraculously the swelling had gone down she didn't have any fever she didn't have any pain she was doing you know, a hundred percent okay so i was like this is so weird but i was told that her white blood cells had come in to fight the disease the the mumps after that was the second day now so apparently she just the, her body just fought the disease off on its own and it's been a week and she hasn't had anything so i'm just saying this to tell you mums that and parents in general that if you see maybe those kinds of things maybe a swelling on just one part or a pain on one part it may be mumps because there's a mumps outbreak so you can just take them to be checked and with that said thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next vlog